guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be doing a true apples to apples comparison for the prices of Imperfect Foods, Whole Foods, and Safeway. So if you want to see which of these three grocery options truly has the best prices, then you just keep watching. <laughs> So just a few quick housekeeping things. I do have a referral discount code for Imperfect Produce, and I also am part of the Amazon Associates program. So if you do sign up for Imperfect Produce or Amazon or Amazon Prime or buy anything from Amazon, check out my links down in the description box. And also, I will do my best to find whatever sort of affiliate program, referral, discount program for Safeway that I can. I'm not sure if they have one, but I will absolutely do my best to find something and put it down in the description box. Um, it helps me out a lot when you do use those links. Hopefully, you can get some discounts as well. So check out those in the description box. Also, I do have in the description box timestamps for when I talk about certain things in this video. So if you want to skip ahead to anything in particular, check out that down in the description box and no need to comment that I talk too much or my intro is too long because I gave you your out it's down in the description box so check that out down below so I just want to give a quick intro of why I'm doing this video so a few months ago I posted another video where I laid out everything in my imperfect foods box and I told you the prices of every single item and I got a lot of comments on that video saying, Sarah, you're paying way too much money. This stuff is way overpriced. I can't believe you're spending that much money for XYZ. I can get so much better prices in my grocery store or where I shop. And I was a little bit surprised by that because I guess I kind of bought into the hype that Imperfect Produce did have pretty good prices on things. But I'm gonna be honest, I am not a huge bargain shopper, especially when it comes to groceries. I don't spend a lot of time comparison shopping. So all of your comments inspired me and I wanted to see for myself, is Imperfect Produce actually giving me good prices or is this just complete marketing gimmick scam material? I wanted to find out by actually looking at side-by-side -side comparison prices for three of my local grocery options. So for some context, I do live in California and I live in a very expensive area of the state. I wanted to know, are, are the prices actually bad? Like does Imperial Produce actually have bad prices or is it just my local area or something like that? So I decided to compare it to Whole Foods, which obviously is known for having more premium pricing and Safeway, which if you're not familiar, is a huge grocery store chain. It's part of Albertsons, which is one of the biggest grocery store chains in the whole United States. It's known for just having more like normal prices for things, kind of lower prices that are more just standard of your typical grocery store. So I figured these two stores would be perfect as a comparison point for Imperfect Foods. So we could really see is Imperfect Foods kind of more like Safeway prices or is it more like Whole Foods prices? Is it way more than both or is it less than both? We're gonna find out right now. Okay, so the first item is one organic mango. This was the cheapest at Safeway. For one pound of conventional Fuji apples, it was cheapest at Safeway also. Organic Roma tomatoes. So one pound of those was actually cheapest at Whole Foods. For one organic avocado, it was best to buy at Imperfect Foods. Now the same thing with organic blackberries, it was again cheapest at Imperfect Foods. Eggplant was cheapest at Whole Foods. Now let's move on to vegetables. One pound of red onions was tied between Imperfect Foods and Whole Foods at $1.69 a pound. One bunch of organic kale was cheapest at Imperfect Foods, but one pound of organic red cabbage was cheapest at Whole Foods and Safeway. Whole Foods took the cake when it comes to romaine lettuce. One bunch was $1.49 and cheapest at Whole Foods. Whole Foods also had the cheapest asparagus. For one pound, it was cheapest to buy at Whole Foods. But for some organic red potatoes, one pound was cheapest at Imperfect Foods. Whole Foods had the cheapest bunch of organic carrots. Now let's go on to beverages. Now they each had this grapefruit LaCroix, but they came in different pack sizes. But when we looked per can for a pack of LaCroix, 
It was the cheapest with the prime discount from Whole Foods. Imperfect Foods had the best price for a four pack of Beaver Tree Ginger Beer. It was a tie between Safeway and Whole Foods for this half gallon of Clover Organic Whole Milk. Safeway had the best price for this almond milk. Now let's talk about some meat, dairy, and some protein alternative options. Safeway had the best price for raw beef. Imperfect Foods had the best price for chow cheese slices. Safeway had the best price though for the Hodo tofu nuggets, which by the way are excellent. You should definitely try those. Now Imperfect Foods and Whole Foods and Safeway all tied for a can of black beans. It was 99 cents no matter where you went. Safeway had the best price for Chobani, 32 ounces of non-fat Greek plain yogurt. Now bread, this is kind of a sad section. I only had one of them, but for this tortilla, the only thing I could find that existed at all three of those places, it was the cheapest at Imperfect Foods. Now let's talk about condiments and some few other packaged goods. Now for some good old apple cider vinegar, Safeway definitely had the cheapest one at $1.99. Now this Brianna's poppy seed dressing was the exact same at all the places, but it was the cheapest at a perfect foods. This Amy's soup was best to buy at Whole Foods, but this Cholula five ounces of hot sauce was cheapest at a perfect foods. Vegetable broth from Pacific was best at Whole Foods. Now one ounce of ground turmeric in a approximately two ounce container was cheapest by a lot actually from Imperfect Foods. Imperfect Foods also had the best price for ground cinnamon, um, non-organic, just conventional ground cinnamon was the best at Imperfect Foods. Now there was a tie for six and a half ounces of basil pesto. Imperfect Foods and Whole Foods both had this for $3.99. This was a calculated value from Safeway since it came in a slightly smaller jar, but when you round up to six and a half ounces, it's a little bit more expensive. So that was it. Those were the 31 products that I compared for this video. And as you can see, it was kind of split all over the place for specific items of how much were the cheapest. But I have the final reveal for you guys. And guess what? Drum roll, please. The cheapest of the options was Imperfect Foods. Imperfect Foods of my three local options, my two local grocery stores, and Imperfect Foods. Imperfect Foods was the cheapest. So for all of these items, everything from Imperfect Foods was $88.22. Now I think the most surprising thing of all was Amazon Prime through Whole Foods was actually the second cheapest. So if you don't want to order from Imperfect Foods, you don't have it. Whole Foods kind of has the reputation of being like whole paycheck, but they actually had some really good prices and were actually even cheaper than Safeway, which I feel like has a reputation as being more of a lower cost grocery store. So that's, that's the verdict. Like I am not going to listen to you guys when you say Imperfect Foods has really bad pricing because I don't think it's true. Like at least for me, the options that I have closest to me Imperfect foods is actually the cheapest option of those three. Now, obviously this is somewhat of an imperfect comparison. There are more like bargain focused establishments that are really focused on giving you the best prices possible. None of these three options is really focused on that. So, you know, this was not like the race to find the possible cheapest, but of these three that I compared, Safeway was actually the most expensive, which I did not expect at all. Now, if you don't have Amazon Prime, Whole Foods was the most expensive option. But if you do have Amazon Prime, it actually takes it actually takes about 5% or so off of that bill. And it actually made Whole Foods cheaper than Safeway, which I thought was super surprising. But either way, Imperfect Foods was still the cheapest option for those 31 items that I found. So yeah, 
Were you surprised by that? I was certainly surprised. And it kind of makes me want to take more advantage of my Amazon Prime. As I said, I do have a referral link for Amazon and I think I do have one for signing up for Amazon Prime. So if you do want to sign up for Amazon Prime, check out my links because I do get some credit for that and you can save some money as well. That's it. I have a whole lot more videos on different food options, food delivery. I have, a, I have a few different imperfect foods videos, including several different reviews. So if you want to see that, check out my channel and subscribe for more videos like this. That's it. Bye guys.